Taking time for me has not been a priority and I need to change. So this planner is going to help me. Hey planner girls, it's Kim Odekov and KRO Designs back here on my YouTube channel. If you're brand new, welcome, welcome. It's all things planners, you're gonna love it. So today we're starting a brand new series about wellness. I kind of let a few of my goals slip by after January and February, and now it's time to refocus to the remainder of 2019 and 2020. So I thought maybe you'd like to join. And yes, some of it is weight loss, but more importantly, it's about making a better you. So stay tuned. So today marks the first in our video series. It's all about setting up your planner to make it work most effectively for you. I purchased an Erin Condren Life Planner with a July 1st start, but you can use any type of planner that you have hanging around. And I'll break down with you my 12 month goals and steps and areas of focus throughout the year. So here it is. This is my Erin Condren Life Planner. It is with the Lux cover, rose gold hardware, and I did get 18 months. At some point, I know I'm going to have to uncoil this, recoil it, take out six months at least, but I'm waiting for the day, so I'm just enjoying it as it is for now. So as I turn the page to the yearly overview, you can see that I've got a whole bunch of flagged stickies on here. These are actually stickers. I just thought they worked perfect. I know a lot of you use those date dots. I didn't have any on hand, but I did have these neutral colored flags that I thought would work great. What I've done here is just noted all of the special holidays. And the reason I did this is not for reference and planning, but it is to reference of being aware. Most of the time when I have three or four days off, I leave on vacation, the kids are home, those are times where I need to be mindful about myself and my goals, and that's just a little bit of an overview. Of course, I do have Lent here that is built into my wellness program, as you'll see as I turn the page to the next section. As you know, this one was broken down into six uncategorized boxes per page, and what I've done is taken a stamp and stamped, the obviously, the month on each box, and then within each box, what I've done is um, put a goal for each month, a focus. Yes, I need to work on my health internally with, uh, like with food and exercise and movement, but I also think it's very important to start taking care of myself. I have not been doing that. My four kids have been the priority recently and I need to refocus that. So in July, I'll be focusing on my hands and feet. I know that sounds silly, but for me, my hands and my feet are very neglected. Um, I wash my hands, I'm doing lots of dishes. I have four boys, so I'm constantly on the go trying to keep up with the mess. In the box for July, I have some suggestions. Now, it doesn't mean that all of these as I've wrote them for the entire 12 months, will actually happen. What it is, is it's a starting off point. But in for July, as you'll see when I get to my monthly spread, that's exactly what's going to happen. So in July, I'm gonna get a manicure, a pedicure, a nightly cuticle oil, and a moisturize my feet at bedtime. Okay, so can I just say the last time I had a pedicure from a professional was over four years ago. Taking time for me has not been a priority and I need to change. So this planner is going to help me. Um, massages, there um, is a woman who I used to adore uh, when she had her own television show. It's called What Not to Wear. Her name is Trini Woodall and I can link below her information. But she really, she's an aged woman, which means she's in her 50s. So she understands the concept of being your age and looking your age and taking care of yourself. So I've been really trying to focus on that. So in the month of August, I'll be doing that. So um, most of mine are seasonal based or what goes with my life. So September, I'm gonna focus on makeup because I need to go back to school and look presentable. October, I'm going to focus on hair care. I know I say updos down here, but uh, my updos mean actually doing my hair other than just drying it. So I want to focus on those types of things right there and maybe a new color. Who knows? Those again, those are just suggestions. November is going to be beautify my home, which is the perfect time to do that right before the holidays. December, I'm going to focus on my sleep. 
a lot of us don't get enough sleep in December, including myself. So I want to have some suggestions for that. January is going to be all about fashion. There seems to be a ton of sales in January. And I do want to point out that every single month I've already budgeted myself. I'm allowing myself $100 to spend as I see fit, except for the month of January. I've decided to do 200 because we all know a blouse is basically half of your budget. So I'm trying to give myself a little leeway. And I know it's after the holidays, but I'll be spendthrift. Don't worry. February is going to be all about hydration, not about drinking just water. I want to focus on different types of drinks, try some new things, see if they work, if I like them, who knows. Body moisturizing. I usually only moisturize um, right after a shower. There's no need for that to be put aside. My body is my moisture and my body needs the moisture and I need to help it with that. March is all going to be spiritual. Again, remember I talked about Lent. It's a great time for me to focus on my spiritual aspect with meditation, maybe a Lenten fast. I don't do fasts very well because I'm always hungry, but you get the drift, unlike maybe a daily prayer journal. Squat challenge for abs, butt, and thighs would be fantastic in April. You're getting close to summer. May is more garden. I know that's more about beautifying my home for everyone, but gardening has always been a very big pleasure in my life, and I want to make sure that I keep focused on that as well. And then in June, I'm going to work on my brain. My eldest, second eldest will be graduating college this month. So I know I will be busy doing uh, physical things and getting him ready to go to school. But I also need to focus on my brain as well by doing crosswords, reading more, and um, maybe some word searches. Of course, again, all of these are suggestions and I probably will add to them as the year goes on. As I turn to the first monthly page, every page in the Erin Condren has this brand new kind of a dashboard feel. So every month what I'll be doing is taking a picture of myself on the first day of the month and posting it here because I'm worth it and I wanna see the progress I've made from A to B. Up here, I've placed my monthly goals where um, I have two to three, four, three, two to four cheats per week. I want to track absolutely everything I put in my mouth. I don't care if it's even a mint. I need to be honest or maybe a glass of wine. And then I'm going to weigh in on Mondays and Thursdays, which I've tracked down here. Now, there are other tracking things that I thought would be very important, including I need to get my 10,000 steps of walking in. So what I've done is just connected the three dots in the first two rows and done all of the five weeks of July and then Monday through Sunday on the side. And then I can do walking, weigh in and vitamins. At the end of the session, I will have a total and I can see if Mondays are a bad day, Tuesdays are a bad day. I wanna be able to see where my good parts and also the places I need to or for improvement. You've probably noticed that I've covered up the dot grid part section of this. There's dot grid underneath um, this magazine picture. What I wanted to do in this section is a vision board. A lot of vision boards I've seen and come up with myself have a hodgepodge of pictures and words and graphics, and sometimes it gets a little muddled and I get lost in the vision board. So I wanted to pick one single photo for every month from a magazine that tells me exactly how I want that month to go. So this one speaks volumes, and I've put my words of inspiration that I wanna focus on this year, uh, on July, is deliberate, intentional, conscious, focused, and real. And so now I've set up my July goal pages. As I turn the page to the monthly, um, you'll see that it's pretty bare. This is for the days that I actually will do something. So say I have a manicure on Friday the 5th. That's where I make the um, writing in here. So it, it will go on my daily pages, but it also will come here on the monthly so I can see which days of the week at a glance what is going on. So here over, uh, as you see on this sidebar, I've got the focus of the month, which will be his hands and feet, and I've written out those focuses right here. So when I have a mani, um, a dip mani, I'm going to use that particular sticker on the certain day and write it in as well. So then I can see how I'm tracking it that way. 
I also will be writing down the monthly spend and then my budget is down here and then hopefully right above the budget I'll have a real live number that won't be over $100. So we turn to the daily pages. There's lots to explain here but let's start over on this side. So in this sidebar I will have this week and these will be the tasks that I need to do for the week. Say I need to go and buy moisturizer for my feet. Well, I hopefully would have taken care of that before Monday, but if you want to pre-plan for the next week on the things you need to buy for this week, so you're continuing your cycle for the next time, that's a great place to put it. I also have my trackers for the week, moisturized cuticle oil and lotion. Then I have a mock-up of my uh, Monday, how I would lay this out. So breakfast and lunch will go in the top box, snacks and dinners in the second, and then exercise will be in the third box. Now, as you can see, I have a piece of acetate. I put some coil clips, I just took a four inch coil clip, cut it in half, and cut a piece of acetate. And the reason why I've done that is because um, I wanna show you what will go in the extra boxes. So I'm going to rate the day on a scale of one to 10, how I feel I had a day. So I will be putting a number up there and then I'll have a reward system on the number of days and the, um, the, the a point system. Then at the bottom I'll have a steps or miles or both right here in this upper box. And then at the bottom I will have a quote, my thoughts or my mood. So that is what. And can I just talk about this use of acetate for a minute? I love pre-planning with acetate if I'm getting a brand new planner and have no idea how to start. So that is what I've done in this planner here. I use an ultra fine Sharpie and I write on the acetate what I want to go in the boxes. And I'll just show you real quick. It's so easy to come off. So if you wanted to move this to pre-plan for the next week, you can just take it out of your planner, which I would highly suggest. And then taking some rubbing alcohol this is basic rubbing alcohol from Target. I think it was probably two bucks. And I'm going to wet a paper towel or a Q-tip or a cotton ball. And I'm going to wipe off that Sharpie and I'm ready to rock and roll. The only thing I will tell you is make sure you take it out of your planner before you rub it. Because if you put too much alcohol, it will bleed underneath with the Sharpie ink. So every week will be like this until we get to the end, which is the August page. I also have another piece of acetate. So I've got my review page all set in my mind, but I'm going to save that for another day. And as you know, this, this is a very large on the go planner. I do have an accompanying petite planner that's a wellness journal that will be coming with me in my purse. So if I do eat out or I have inspiration or need to jot something down, that will be here um, in my purse ready to go. I will have this one at home here on my desk. And so I hope you join me for next time where we'll be going over how this week went and we'll also incorporate another plan with me to set up this week and talk about the things that didn't work or did work with my planning in my wellness. Bye-bye. <laughs>